Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. So I want to share with you on the team tonight, contending for the faith. When I read, whenever I read the scripture and I come upon the word contend, the, the, the thing that comes to mind is the contender boxing series. I used to love that thing. Before them get so professional, you know, they are professional now, so it kind of take out a little bit of excitement. I love to see the knockouts. I love to see the 22nd fight and the, and the 30 second fights. And they're always nice. And I love the content of boxing series. So when I see the word content, something about fighting comes to mind. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. And the very fact that some of us who are here tonight, we are here because we fight. Somebody bless God, you see? So we can have a packed Sunday morning church, but the contenders, somebody praise God, the contenders will be here. Somebody praise God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. So we are here because we are contenders. We are fighters. And we say, comes one man. Hallelujah. I know it is Sunday night. And there's something I recognize and I know about Sunday night services. We don't like stay too late. <laughs> we don't like stay too late. And since I'm here, one other thing I recognize. Some person from the choir, from them finish singing. Oh, somebody else said, hey, God. <laughs> I'm trying to reach night, or the past nine o'clock. We start looking at the clock. But I won't keep you late tonight. Hallelujah. Now, what I want you to recognize from the scripture. Jude, here, he was addressing Christians. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And not only that he was addressing Christians, but he was addressing believers that are sanctified by God. He said, I'm addressing you who are sanctified and preserved by God. Can I tell you tonight that we are in the kingdom of God for such a time like this. This is the time when the kingdom of God desired men and women of backbone to stand up and fight. Whether you believe it, yes or no, we are living in a time when we are fighting against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world. And if we stand in, in the ring, oh glory to God, and we don't have the desire to fight. Somebody praise God. We are fighting against an enemy who have no feelings. He have no heart. When you go into school and you engage in a fight, and if somebody stand up, oh glory to God, like they are helpless, you will feel sorry for them and walk away. But the devil who we are fighting, oh glory to God, hallelujah, if we stand as if we are not in a fight, you think he will feel sorry for us? Oh no, he won't feel sorry for us. Oh glory to God. But can I tell somebody tonight, if we are going to contend for the faith, if we are going to be successful in this fight, Jude warn that we must be sanctified. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. I said sanctification. Oh, hallelujah. is a requirement for this fight. When Paul went down to Corinth and Paul was preaching about sanctification, Paul said, wherefore, my beloved brethren, come out from among them. Be he separated. Say, God, touch not the unclean things. 
somebody praise God somebody praise God so what James what Jude is saying in his epistle that if we are going to fight we can't watch the crowd oh glory to God sometimes we got to step aside from the crowd dare to be different because some people go on like them can't fight and go and let them bad because them see the crowd. And you can run behind the crowd. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody praise God. But I hear Daniel said, I'm going to fight. And I'm not standing in the crowd. So do what you want to do. I will not bow down to your God. I'm going to stand for my God. And a lot of times in our workplace, we drop our armor because we want to be promoted. We quit to fight. Daniel have a big position. Oh, glory to God. Can I preach around here? I said Daniel have a big position. And Daniel was determined. I hear Daniel said, take away the position. Oh, somebody praise God. Take away the promotion. Take away the free meal. Take away the free clothes. Oh, somebody praise God. But I will stand up and fight. What if the promotion offer to you is against your Christian principle? What will you do? Will you take the promotion for an extra cash? Or will you fight? Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Will you take the promotion? Or will you fight? Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. So Jude said, when he put all effort to write this book, I hear Jude said, it was necessary. When I do the studies on the book of Jude, Jude was about to write some different things. Oh, glory to God. And, and when the spirit of the Lord came on to Jude, Jude said, I got to change my mind. Oh, glory to God. I got to earnestly write. I'm going to write to you in this book to earnestly contend for the faith. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Not just that Jude wanted us to contend for the faith. But Jude said you must earnestly contend for the faith. You must seriously fight for this thing. You must be sincere and intense. Extreme force and strength. When it comes down to the faith. We must not give what we have left, but we must give it our all. Oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. We serve a real God. I worked with some bubble in Mandeville a few years ago. I never know if saw them man they're serious about them thing. Let me tell you something about the bubble jet. The real bubble jet you have never seen their locks. Them, them not expose them locks. So when he comes to, when they comes to work, uh, they get themselves in a little corner and change the turban. Oh, glory to God. And they, and they put on a working turban. And it doesn't matter what they are doing. Uh, when it reach 12 o'clock every single day, they drop tools. Oh, can I preach around here? They empty jewels from their pocket, their money. They empty everything from around their neck. Because it is 12 o'clock and this is prayer time. And they are fighting. Praying to who? 
I never know a person pray to Nanny of the Maroon. They are praying to Nanny. They are praying to, to Marcus Garvey. They are praying to Emperor, the Eel Celestia. Every day at 12. I'm not saying we must go to our work and be disobedient. But I'm saying we must fight. Hallelujah. Because if they are serving, oh glory to God. Some God that is insignificant. A God that cannot hear them. A God that cannot deliver them. But they are contending. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. This contending here means we must fight. And most of our fight, oh glory to God, hallelujah. What I tell you about this fight, that the Lord God has equipped us. To fight. And he said that don't worry yourself. You don't have to get a license gun. You don't have to learn to fire gun. You don't have to use, learn to use sword and shield. And spear. For the weapons. Of our warfare. They are not carnal. But they are mighty through God. For the pulling down. God has equipped us. For the fight. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. And if you don't have the equipment, get yourself in position. Get yourself in line. Get yourself ready to receive. But we must fight. I said we must fight. I said we must fight. I said we must fight. Things are getting so out of hand these days that even to read the Bible, it takes a fight. Because there are so many things to do to occupy our time. Oh, glory to God. And if you don't fight, you go through the day without reading your Bible. Can I preach around here? And, and if you don't fight, Minister Brian, huh, you go to your bed without praying for weeks. Oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. We have to fight. And since we can't finish uh, the sermon tonight, uh, oh, glory to God, I might just go ahead uh, and say a few things. Uh, oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. Uh, there is a little cliche uh, going on in Christian circles uh, that everything we're going through, uh, we say we decree and we declare. Uh, we decree and we declare. Uh, I decree and I declare. Uh, no, no, no. We must fast uh, and pray. I'm not saying decree and declaring is wrong. But every little thing you think that can break chains. Oh, glory to God and set captive free. Oh, glory, just get up and I decree and declare and leave it like that. No, when some people take three days of fasting. When Esther was in trouble in Sushan the palace, you don't think Esther could just get up and say, I decree and declare and go back about our business. With, I'm telling the Christian, not get comfortable using those phrases. Oh, glory to God. But down on my knees, when sorrow rises, I will lift up my eyes. We have to spend time before God. I guarantee you that some things that you're going through, getting up in the morning and decree and declaring, and then you're gone about our business. Next week, you still have the problem. Next month, you still have the problem. 
Lord God of mercy, can I preach around here, man? I said some disciples, they went out one day and they went to cast out. Oh, glory to God. Some devils, I could paraphrase and imagine the disciple was saying, I decree and declare that you must come out. But when they returned and they went to Jesus and they said, Master, what's the problem? Why we speak to these devils? And they are still here. Jesus said, these kinds, these kinds cannot go out but by fasting. By fasting. I'm not saying you must not decree and declare, but left a little space for a little fasting, let a little space for a little prayer. Spend some times, spend some times on your knee. Cry out to God. God could tell Jeremiah, God could tell Jeremiah to decree and to declare. But I hear God said, Call unto me. I will hear thee. I will answer thee. I will show thee. Lord God of mercy. In Psalm 34, the poor man could decree and declare. But I hear the Bible say, This poor man cried. After 400 years, the children of Israel, they were in Egypt bondage. They could decree and declare. But I hear God say, after 400 years, I have heard, I have heard, I have heard, I have heard, I have heard. I have heard. I hear your cry. 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 Lord God of mercy. Who don't cry yet? Who don't cry as yet? God is somewhere listening. Somewhere listening. Listening. Awaiting your cry. We soon wrap it up, we soon wrap it up. But there are many forces that come in against the faith. There are so many things that are coming against the faith. And if you're gonna be successful, we have to fight. We have to contend. Illuminati, Lodge. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. We have to fight against them. These things are coming up against the faith. Could you believe? If you tell your great-grandmother, your great-great-grandfather, that in Jamaica land we love, somebody would stand up in our parliament and say they want to legalize Obia. They would tell you that you're lying! We have to stand up and fight. If you tell your great, great grandmother that in Jamaica they want to cut out devotion in schools, they would say you're lying. We have to fight against these things. Because they are coming to fight against us. 
Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. So, I don't have any problem with them fighting for their thing, you. So, who want to fight to legalize ganja? Who want to fight to legalize homosexuality? They have to fight because that's their fight. Oh, glory to God. But while they are fighting their fight, we must fight our fight. Because we cannot tell Christian not, um, unsaved not to sin. You know? We can tell them to get saved. Because if they are not sinning, then maybe they are Christians. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. So they have to fight. They are fight. So when politicians are invited in settings like these, in church settings, sometimes people feel vexed and start grumbling when they talk about politics. But what, what do we want them to talk about? When they invite us in their settings, come on, somebody bless the name of Jesus, the man. When they invite us in their settings, Talk about Jesus and him who crucified. A lot of times I'm in function, religious Christian function. And politicians come up and I talk about politics. And the church are grumbling and make noise. Why? The man a politician, what do you want him to talk about? Jesus. But when we go in a freedom circle, what we talk about? Come on, somebody praise God no man. Somebody praise God, no man. Somebody praise God, no man. Somebody praise God. We have to contend for this faith. And it, it, it literally means we have to struggle sometimes. We have to suffer. We have to undergo great stress. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. But we must come in defense of the word of Jesus Christ. You mean somebody I talk bad about God and you don't feel no way? There was a young man died maybe a year or a few months ago. He, well, it announced that he was a pastor. And a lady in the office where he works said she not even didn't know that he was a Christian. He come on the television. I saw the lady on the TV. The pastor died. And the lady said, I never know. Works in the same office. And she never knows that the pastor was a Christian. Somebody praise God, no man. Too much secret, Christian. Want to hide and fight. Want to hide and fight. Oh, glory to God. But you must fight. Be brave. Against all evil. Never run. Never lag behind. If you win for God and be right. Too much secret Christian. You know why we preach against lodge? Because of their secrecy. Somebody praise God, no man. Somebody praise God, no man. Some, hey, Nicodemus wanted to be a Christian, but he wanted to hide and be Christian. So the Bible said, he came to Jesus by night. Don't want anyone to know. But if you are ashamed to own God, Lord God of mercy, if you are ashamed to own him, let me run along, let me run along and tell somebody tonight that Stephen was stoned for it. Let I tell somebody that James was prison for it. Lord God, not prison, but, but James was killed for it. Steve was stoned for it. James killed for it. Peter prison for it. I'm here to tell the church of God we must contend for it.
Can't tell me that the apostle have gone through so much things. And then we must got a, a, a hunky dory ride. Can't rock! What the fuck? Jesus was talking to his disciples and he said, You know what? You see this thing? You have to fight for it. Because if you love your life, I said, If you love, when you're coming at this fight, if you love your life, if you love your life, if you love your life, you shall lose it. Hello. This is a serious fight. You can imagine you going to a fight. A Lord have mercy. And your master said to you, if you love your life, you know, Puba. If you love your life, you shall lose it. But on the other hand, if you lose your life, let, let, let me just pack up some little things. Not just that we need to contend for the faith, but we need to contend for each other. We need to fight for each other. You ever watch Soja Show yet, man? You ever watch a Soja Show? And when one soldier is wounded, man, no run left wounded soldier from battlefield, you know, man. I said, we can't run left wounded soldiers. We have to help each other. One man said he went to a church service one time, and while he was in the service, pastor said, everybody, if you kneel down and pray. And he said, him shoes bottom got hole. So he lined up himself in front of our church sister and kneel down before her. And halfway in the empire, he feel tickling on his foot bottom. Church sister and I service. I juke out him shoes bottom. I scratch him foot. I expose him. Hello, we can't let down each others. We can't let down each others. We have to fight. Don't let a wounded. So when you watch those movies and a soldier is wounded on the battlefield. A man rather to drop him arms. Put on him gun. Lord God have mercy, but him now leave him. Him now leave him. Him now leave him. Him now leave him. See how the wounded hear how the desperate cry for help. How much time you get an opportunity to help a church brother? Or a church sister? And you let it pass by. We have to fight for each other. You know why? No man is an island. No man is an island. No man! No man stand alone! We have to fight. One man said in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7 and 8, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, they are laid up for me a crown of righteousness. We have to fight. Oh, glory to God. And sometimes things are not so easy, but we have to fight. So Paul said, we are troubled on every side in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 8 to 9. We are troubled on every side, yet not in distress. We are perplexed, not despaired. Persecuted! We are not cast down. Oh, glory to God. Persecuted, not forsaken. Cast down! But you are not destroyed. We have to fight. Church of God, if we are going to be successful. Oh, glory to God. If this kingdom of God is going to be successful, brothers. We have to fight. And not because we have prayer mothers. Praying is not their duty alone. Sometimes we wonder if the Holy Spirit is feminist. Excuse me. But sometimes it look like no man no one no Holy Ghost. Somebody bless the name of Jesus, the man. 
Sometimes it look like no man no want no Holy Ghost. So when you got Holy Ghost service, a lady just sit up front. Oh, glory to God. But brothers, if you're going to build the kingdom. We need something more. And we have to fight. Somebody praise God. You know, so one of the reasons why we have to fight, the Bible said, let me just finish it. The Bible said in Jude 1 verse 4, we have to fight. Because you got certain men. You got certain men who come into the church. Look, the Bible said they crept in. The Bible said they crept in. You see when them come in, them dress like we. They look like we. They sound like we. Play music like we. Hello. You never hear the story. One man over in one of our branch churches came into the church. Join up with the church. Member of the church now. Preaching in one of our church. And one night he, he took a taxi. And he tell the taxi man that he was going to Ochi to have some street meetings. Take away the equipment from the church. You never hear about it. The man come in the church. Preaching in the church. And the man take away the church equipment. Shot a taxi. Say, man, will keep street meeting. But the taxi man was so wise in his head. The taxi man said, what do you? How this one man? I go watch go keep street meeting by himself. And the taxi man drive up in a police station. And said, officer! Check him out! Crept into the church. Unaware! Look real, sound real. We have to fight and we must get the spirit of discernment. We must know that when them come. Because if, hey, some Christian that are made in China, you know, some Christian that are made in China look genuine. Hello. When you bring up here, when you bring up, when you bring up foot and Nike shoes, go down to China. And the Chinese man take up that shoes. And him look at it two times. And him say that is okay. And him build one. It looks same way. It feels same way. Oh, glory to God. We have some China made Christian. Look like Christian. Talk like Christian. Crap into the church. And we are. to check them out check yourself we don't want no more Chinese made Christian oh we want Christian with strong spiritual strong spiritual backbone that when they criticize you still standing when they talk bad about you still standing when they persecute you, still standing. When they lied on you, still standing. Because we have some Christians, you know, who don't believe somebody enough to tell life on them. But check who much somebody you tell lie on. You get one lie, tell her, you see how it feel. Some people get one lie, one lie, no. I'm so me now go back down to church. What about the ten that you told on somebody? Somebody, we, we have to contend for the five. This thing not cheap. Somebody will tell you that salvation is free. Maybe free to you, but it costs one man his life. Salvation caused one man his life for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. 
Oh, everybody, please stand. And as you stand, just lift up your hands and give God some praise. Just give God some praise. 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 The Bible said, those who fight. If those who fight, there is a crown of righteousness awaiting them. What you are going to get if you don't fight. Church, we need to cut out some spirit. You can't say you just want to be a Christian. And you just want to oh, yeah, come to church and that's it. Don't work! While you were yet sinners, somebody was here fasting for you to get saved. Somebody was here praying for you to get saved. Know that you are a Christian. You must fast and pray for somebody else to get saved. We want to finish the service at the altar. You need that power to fight tonight. You need that power to fight. Come to this altar. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come, everybody. We need to finish the service at the altar tonight. Oh, glory to God. But we must fight. Oh, somebody bless the name of Jesus. We must fight. It is not easy to live right in these trying days. If we are going to live right and be successful, we must fight. If your husband is going to get saved, you must fight. If your son is going to get saved, you must fight. If your daughter is going to get saved you must fight if your brothers and your sisters going to get saved you must fight if jamaica is going to change we must fight fight with your prayer Come on, everybody, lift up your hands and begin to pray. With your prayer, fight. With your prayer, with your prayer. With your prayer, fight. With your prayer, fight. This poor man cry. Psalms 34 and verse 8. This poor man cry. Psalms 34 and verse 17. The righteous cry. No, many of us here tonight want to see our family members come home to Jesus Christ but we must fight many of us want a better community in which to live I'm here to tell you tonight uh, that we must fight we would like to come to church on a Sunday morning and see sign and wonders and miracles person getting up from wheelchairs Oh, glory to God. Person testifying of the miraculous power of Jesus Christ. We must fight. The devil is not going to ease us up. The devil is not playing. As a matter of fact, the Bible said, while we are sleeping, while we are playing, Oh, glory to God. While we are criticizing, while we are backbiting, while we are fornicating, the devil, our adversary, is going around like a warring lion. You don't want to fight, but you want to devour you. You don't want to fight, but you want to devour you. Oh, glory to God. Help us to fight tonight, Jesus. Give us the fighting power to read our Bible. Give us the fighting power to pour us for service. Give us the fighting power to pray. Give us that fighting power to live right. Minister Simit will come and dismiss us tonight. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus.
Fight my brothers. Fight my sisters. Fight for your husbands. Fight for your wife. Fight for your salvation. Fight for your job. Fight for your sons. Fight for your daughters. Oh, lift up your voices and fight the good fight of faith. Oh, hallelujah. You know your situation. You know your circumstance. You're in the presence of the Lord. You're in the presence of God. You want to be victorious? You have to lift up your voices and fight. Talk to God. Talk to Him. Talk to God. Tell Him all about your situations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're not fighting at the altar. You're not fighting. You're not fighting. You do not have anything that is upsetting and, and affecting you. Fight my brothers. Fight my sisters. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. We are living in troubled times. We know that the devil, the adversary, he's out like a roaring lion. We need the power of God to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every fetters. Hey, hallelujah. Talk to God. Talk to him. He's our burden bearer. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, fight the good fight of faith. Oh, God Almighty. Yes, Jesus. We know that under the unction of the power of your Holy Spirit, you have given us the power to fight demons and devils. And we know right now, Lord God Almighty, that the enemies have been listened to this message, want to discord, want to destroy great God Almighty. The word of, that came from your man's servant from the heart of your people. Right now in the name of Jesus, I pray mighty God that you will touch someone who almighty God is going through troubled times in the mighty name of Jesus. It is our secret what you can do in the mighty name of Jesus. You have our power, great God Almighty, to destroy the works of the devil. And as we stand under your awesome presence tonight, great God Almighty, and we send up our prayers to you, Lord. You know our situation. You know our circumstances, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, I ask for your intervention, great God. Break of a yoke. Break of a yoke. Break of a chain. Break of a yoke. Break of a chain in the name of Jesus. Release your people. Release your people. Release your people. Release your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your sons, your daughters, they are crying out. They are crying out. They are crying out. They are crying out. They, crying out. they need your help. Oh God Almighty. Help comes from you, great God. In the name of Jesus. Let your Holy Ghost power. Let your Holy Ghost fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Change and transform situations. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. We bind every dark forces right now. In the name of Jesus. We claim victory right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It is our secret what you can do, great God Almighty. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Great God Almighty, we thank you for the word tonight. We thank you for your man servant, great God. We thank you for the president of the men's ministry. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your people. Send Almighty God. Your angels, great God Almighty, your warring angels. To touch. Almighty oh, God. Let your Holy Spirit minister in a supernatural way to your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God Almighty. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Touch your people. Touch your people. Give them the victory. Give us the victory over demons and devil. Oh God, we commit all to you right now. We commit all to you right now. We commit all to you right now, dear God. Father, we tell you thanks. 
We tell you thanks. We tell you thanks. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands and praise him. Just praise him for your breakthrough. Praise him for what he's going to be doing in your lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, great God. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, bless your people. In the name of Jesus, as we, God Almighty, depart one from the other. I pray, mighty God, that you will dispatch angels, O oh God Almighty, to guide us. I pray for your total protection on every single human being in this sanctuary tonight. Great God Almighty, we know that the devil is mad right now. But you have given your angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. Let no incident or accident occur, great God. I pray that every single one will be taken home right now safely, Lord God Almighty. We back up every dark forces right now. And we are fighting and contending for our faith in you. Because we know that great God, faith in you makes all the difference. Touch your people. Touch your people. Bless your people. May the blessings of God be with you all. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit the Comforter, rest, remain, and abide with us all, now and forever. And God's people say, Amen. Hallelujah. You are dismissed in the care of the Holy Ghost. Have yourselves a great and wonderful week. The Lord bless you. Thank Minister Brown and the men's department for this convention and we look forward to see you at the next appointed time when the men's department will do another in the series of men's convention the lord bless you